hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is senna and i'm glad to have you here with me today so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the uk driving theory test i believe it's called and um, i recently took my test in i guess 2022 this year sorry and i passed on my first try um if you are new to the uk like myself if you're an international student or you're here for work or for any other reason and you intend to stay here for a while and you're plan is to you know someday drive in the uk then you need to be able to you know get you know the process started to get your full driving license so if you're new if you're new like i was um you know a, a, about a year ago then you need to have stayed in the uk for about for at least 185 days to be able to start the process so the first thing that you need to do is to get your provisional line um license then you need to take the theory test which i'll be talking about today and then finally the practical test before you can get your full license if you pass you know all these processes so um i have heard of how people take the test several times before they are able to pass for whatever reason so i hope you find value in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you what i did the resources that i used to be able to study and pass my test on the very first try and um, i have my certificates right here which i can show to you i folded this so that you can see my name but i hope you can see here i got 46 out of 50 for the theory test which is like the multiple um test part of the um test and then i got 57 out of 75 for the hazard perception and that's quite a low mark if i'm being honest you can do way better i'll tell you the mistakes that i did so that you don't repeat the same thing but the test is in two parts as i've just said you have the theory test the multiple choice section which is 50 questions and then you have like a hazard perception which is like 14 video clips that you have to watch and click when you see hazards developing so yes guys and um, let's get right into the video Okay, guys, so this test is really, you know, um, developed to test your knowledge on driving in general, like to test your knowledge about, you know, the driving and um, the highway code in the UK, um, issues around um, hazard, your hazard awareness, you know, whether you know about vulnerable road users, you know, how to because you're not the only road user right there are pedestrians and there are other you know drivers there are people who are you know riding horses bicycles and whatnot so they want to test your knowledge on whether you are aware of like safety measures how you can keep safe and keep others safe as well your alertness you know your attitude towards driving whether you know about your vehicle safety and stuff like that so basically it's like you know they want to know that you will be safe on the road and not present as a hazard to other road users so that's really what the test is designed um to to test you on and there are two sections as i've already mentioned there's the multiple choice section which is 50 questions and then there's the um, hazard perception which is developed to you know test your response to developing hazards that may come up as you are driving on the road so that one is 14 video clips as i've said 13 of those are, contain just one hazard that you need to be able to spot. And then one of them contains two hazards. And then you need to be able to click just as the hazard is developing. So let's, let's talk about the hazard perception first. So you need to be able to spot as hazards are developing. And hazard is anything that would make you like take an action on the road, maybe slow down or, you know, um, swerve or something like that. Anything that would, you know, take you off course or make you take an action as you are driving, basically so there are like a, um, a number of videos and um, that you need to be really alert and be looking at it to see if a hazard and um, when hazards are developing and you should you'll be able to um, score a maximum of five points for um, each clip that you're able to spot you, you know each hazard they are able to spot and the, the sooner you click on the hazard as they're developing the higher you score so as um you know you know i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense but as soon as you see the hazard developing you should be able to click this um, max begin to reduce as you know you, you leave it for later if that makes sense so the maximum you can score is five and then it's you need to be able to score 44 out of 75 points to be able to pass the hazard 
perception test i scored 57 out of 75 and you can do way better guys i use just one day or a couple of hours to prepare for the hazard perception part of the test because i was so focused on the multiple choice question um section because there was so much to cover for that and it's quite boring if i'm being honest like reading the highway code and stuff like that so yes that's why i gave so much time to that part of the test but the hazard perception is also very important it doesn't take much as much to be able to get a grasp of that one compared to the multiple choice part of the test maybe just give yourself some two three days to keep practicing because as you practice like you naturally get a hang of it you naturally you know understand what's going on and you'd be able to spot hazards you know much faster as they are developing so that is about the hazard perception part of the test and then the a multiple choice is 50 questions as I, i've said you need a minimum of 44 points to be able to pass that test and i had 46 i believe it was so yes um it covers really like if you're able to read the highway code i think that my best advice would be that you should read the highway code <laughs> It, it gets boring like i said but you need to be able to read it because no matter how the questions are twisted you'd be able to answer it because you have like a very good foundation knowledge about what the whole um test is about so sometimes you see questions repeating that you've seen in your practice and whatnot but at other times they might the same question but they would frame it in a different way and then if you are just focusing on you know practicing without actually knowing the knowledge base then you're going to be thrown if um, the question is presented in a different way so that's why i'm saying try and read the highway code and then you also like i used a theory test app i just used one app to prepare for my um my test i'll show a video of the app that i used and what my you know my dashboard looked like but yes like there are so many there are about 14 topics that you can go through and then from those topics they also have like um practice tests that you can take after you've like read a particular topic and understood it you can take a practice test on it to be able to test your knowledge or understanding of what you've just learned if that makes sense and i thought that was really helpful so there are 14 topics on alertness attitude vehicle safety vulnerable road users hazard awareness etc so 14 of those i'd advise that you go through all of these and then do the practice test on that and then finally there's the like mock test that is you know done under examination conditions but you still need like some self-control because you are alone you have the ability to pause the test so i'd advise that you don't do that because you not be able to do that in the examination room so just go through the mock test and make sure that you are scoring like initially when you start taking you might score low marks but keep practicing go back and see where you need to read some more to gain better understanding go back and take the most mock test and i would say that make sure that you are scoring as high a mark as you can maybe 50 48 out um 48 out of 50 50 out of 50 in your practice so that when you go into the examination you, you know that you have a high chance of um, um, making a very high score so yes really that's really all today okay guys apologies so i failed to mention that you need to pass both the multiple choice and the hazard perception parts of the test to be able to make you know the full um thing so if you fail one of them you'd have to retake the test if that makes sense it is also there are so many resources on youtube there are so many channels that are sharing knowledge on um, uk theory tests that you can you can watch and you know they explain some of them they explain about the hazard perception they explain about the multiple choice they explain about you know the road science you know they as you keep watching this video depending on what kind of learner you are sometimes reading can be boring but as you are watching people talk about this or you're watching videos on it you know you just have like this pictorial view um picture picture you know in your mind that would come to you when you need that knowledge if that makes sense so yes watch videos on youtube i'm going to leave, leave links to some of them that i found really helpful in my test i gave myself a month to prepare that was because i was finding it lazy to um read the highway code but you can prepare in like a week or less some people are really fast learners so i can tell you that it's not like a big deal it's not like something that you should go and take and fail you can easily pass the test so just do these things that i'm saying there are also 
other um you know apps that you can use it's not just this one but i found this really helpful i've also seen good reviews on other ones that you can check out maybe i'll leave links to you know a couple of apps that you can use on in my description box below so do check those out you don't need any book i would say like no need to spend money on any book and um, also i forgot to mention that these apps you need to pay for them but it's not like um very expensive i paid 4.99 that's five five pounds for mine and then you have it like lifetime i still have access to it right now so yes um just pay that one-time payment and then you can use it to prepare for as long as you need so if you are coming new or if you just came this september you should be able to register and you should be able to apply for your provisional license somewhere in March thereabouts and then you can start preparing but if I was in your shoes maybe you can download the app now and anytime you have like a couple of minutes some time you can you know have a look at it and start learning so that as soon as your provisional license comes you don't need to wait or start preparing for the theory test you already have the knowledge you just register and write it I'm also going to leave links to um, the um, gov.uk site where you can register to take your test and I also leave the link to um, the um, sites where you can apply for the provisional license if you need such information so do check my description box i always have a ton of links there for you to check out so yes guys um that is all that i have for you in today's video i hope you found it helpful i hope that at least it serves as a starting point for you to start thinking about what you need to do to get your full driving license in the uk so i have done the first two processes and i just need to take the practical test now which i am preparing for so i will update you in the near future on you know the process but yes guys thank you so much for watching to this point if you are not yet subscribed to the channel please consider doing so just click on the red subscribe button down below and also click on the bell icon close to it so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video and until my next time it's a bye bye for now